Greetings from my garden. I want to talk to you today about a plant I have growing here. It is Codenopsis and known in Chinese medicine as Dong Shen. It is the plant growing up this uh, garden fence here, right here. Uh, the bees are absolutely loving it. They're all over these flowers. Let me just show you here how beautiful these little flowers are. Take a look at that. So Codenopsis is in the Campanulaceae family. Uh, that's a fairly small plant family. Uh, Lobelia is in that family. Platycodon, bellflower is in that family. And one interesting thing is that all three of those medicinal plants have an affinity for the lungs. So the root of this plant, Dangshan or Codenopsis, is a prized medicine in Chinese medicine. But it's also fairly affordable and accessible and fairly gentle. It's nourishing. The roots are the part that we use. It's doing really well in my garden. So uh, at least where I am in uh, New York State, uh, we can grow it quite successfully. And uh, we use the root as a sweet, nourishing tonic. It's building vitality, building nutrition. So in Chinese medicine, it's considered a wonderful blood-building tonic and qi-building tonic, particularly to the spleen qi and to the lung qi. So it's a good respiratory remedy, uh, not, not so much for addressing something that's happening right now, but for long-term chronic states or vulnerabilities, challenges in someone's health to build up strength. Uh, blood building when someone is fatigued and pale, potentially anemic, malabsorption of nutrients, uh, and qi building in terms of spleen qi, which in Chinese medicine really refers uh, to a large overlap, at least in the case of Codenopsis, to its adaptogenic activity. It's helping build up our autonomic nervous system strength, our resilience to stress, how we respond to stress, being more even keeled and e evenly flowing between a sympathetic nervous system state and a parasympathetic nervous system state, and very gentle. So it's often used in similar ways to ginseng, uh, but in a gentle and also to some degree at least more affordable package. Uh, it's certainly more affordable than, say, our Native American ginseng is if you buy that organic and woods grown and so on. Wonderful medicine, but a little out of reach for some. And uh, Chinese ginseng, which particularly if it's red ginseng in, in particular and steamed, is very heating and warming in its quality, whereas Codenopsis, very, very gentle. It's delicious. You can just chew on the dried roots and it's wonderful. Long-term use, you'd probably want to pair it with something a little dispersive or drying. Uh, poria is a good combination in Chinese medicine. Attractylodes, maybe elecampane would be nice as well. Uh, but just a gorgeous plant and yet another example of how successfully we can grow some of these medicinal plants that we're using uh, right in our backyard, as long as we're in the right environment. Look at that, look at that pollination in action. <laughs> <laughs>